This TikToker, let's call him 8 Mile. Now, 8 Mile is trying to become the biggest rapper in the Idaho rap game. But it's hard out there for a pimp, and he's struggling to break out. But one day, he finally gets a ton of attention when he posts this TikTok. I spent 19 and a half years of my life incarcerated. And he tells the story of how he went to prison for unaliving the person who essayed his sister. And that video blows up, because it's one hell of a story. And he gets a ton of new fans, and they're all calling him a hero. I look up to you. You're amazing. Idaho has a rap game? But unfortunately, life's been hard for 8 Mile ever since he got out of prison. And he's been pretty open about that. And he starts pushing his cash app and his PayPal. And his fans are like, sure, we'll help you out. And they start sending him a little money to help him pay his bills and stuff. So finally, 8 Mile is doing pretty well. Despite being in prison for 19 years, now all his bills are getting paid. He has an audience who loves him. Until 8 Mile is collecting donations from his fans for about a year or two. Then this other TikToker, Frit Brat, she notices 8 Mile's videos and all his success and she is not buying it. The kid's a douchebag and he really needs to grow up and admit that he's taking advantage of people. Then this TikToker, Donish, Donish is like a social media crime stopper and he sees Brit Brat's video and it makes him skeptical of 8 Mile's story too. And he decides to do a deep dive to see what's really going on. So he digs around and he finds records of all all the charges against 8 Mile. And wouldn't you know, there's no record of any murder, nor is there any record of a 19 year prison sentence. So Donish reaches out to 8 Mile and invites him to a live stream so he can ask him about it. And he has a big following, so of course 8 Mile goes on his live stream and tells his story. Your crime officially was battery with intent to commit a serious felony and I got bound over to adult. And 8 Mile basically explains that all this happened when he was a juvenile, so we don't really have access to the records. But Donish is a resourceful guy, and does he have access to all the records? Yeah, we do. Sure we do. And the records show that as a juvenile, 8 Mile was arrested for petty theft and tobacco possession. But no murder. So from all this, Donish can only come to one conclusion. You're a scammer. Shame on you for scamming people. And he apparently doesn't like scammers, because he doesn't stop at the live stream. He reports 8 Mile on Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Then, as if that wasn't enough, somehow, Donish is able to find 8 Mile's sister. And he invites her onto a live stream. First of all, that whole story is not true at all. No one died. He never beat anybody up. And she basically says 8 Mile's story is all bullshit. But then she says something really damning about it. Really dark stuff involving kids that I won't get into. But all this is starting to look really bad for 8 Mile. And he doesn't know what to do. So he disappears. It goes dark for a bit. Then, almost a year later, he pops up again with some new accounts. And he's still asking his audience for money. And one day he's doing a live stream and Donish sees this and he's like, oh hell no. So he goes on that live stream under an alias and he starts asking him about that famous murder story. And this is when 8 Mile finally gives in and admits to everything. That didn't happen. I wanted to look like a hero so I made up a story that I unalived the person who abused me and my sister. And of course, Donish continues to call him out. There it is. I was right. Most importantly, Walter Thomas just admitted to a federal crime. Coulter, you committed charity fraud. And there you have it. Shout out to the Idaho rap game.